In this video, I'm going to show you how you can apply for the ERC and you can claim up to $26,000. $26,000. $26,000. For every employee. And by the end of this video, you'll have known some of the requirements that you need to be having so that you can qualify for the ERC. So guys, stay with me as I cover some of the requirements that you need to be qualifying for the ERC. First of all, if you're a business owner who was impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic, this credit could provide some much needed financial relief. Let's dive in and learn some of the requirements that you need to be having for you to qualify for the ERC. The ERC, or call it the Employee Retention Credit Program, was put in by the federal government to help all those business owners that were impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. ERC was introduced in March 2020 to incentivize employers to keep their employees during the pandemic. The ERC gives eligible employers payroll tax credit for wages and health insurance that was given to employees that were actively working during the pandemic. For you to qualify for the ERC, you must have experienced a significant decline in the gross receipt or you were subject to partial or full suspension of operation during the pandemic. This means that in the 2020 and 2021 tax period, if you experience a significant decline in how much you were making compared to the years before, like 2019 or 2018, you may be eligible to claim for the ERC. So you can always give it a try and see if you're eligible. If you are, they will let you know that you're eligible and then you'll go ahead and claim your ERC. Secondly, for you to qualify for the ERC, you must have all the payroll and employment records. Gather all the payroll and employment records for the applicable tax periods. That means that for all the quarters that you paid your employees, you must be having all the paperwork and all the records during that tax period. If you don't have that, you will not be eligible. The records that are required are records of wages, worked hours, and records of qualified health expenses for the eligible employees. So make sure that you have all the records and documents ready before you plan on applying for the ERC. Thirdly, for you to qualify for the ERC, you must have Form 941 for the, for the quarters in 2020 and 2021. Employers typically claim the ERC by reporting it on Form 941, the quarterly federal tax return for employers. Like I told you, Form 941 is the quarterly federal tax return for employers. Ensure that you have the accurate and up-to-date information on wages, employment tax deposits, and other required details for each quarter. Next for the requirements for the application of the ERC is documentation of all eligible expenses. So for you to qualify for the ERC, you must have documented all the eligible expenses during the applicable tax period. And the applicable tax period, I mean during the 2020 and 2021 tax periods. In this case, you should maintain all the documentation supporting all the calculations for the eligible wages and all the health plan expenses on the eligible employees. So make sure that you have all the records and documentation ready before you think about applying for the ERC. And some of the documentations needed may include the payroll records, tax forms, health plan documentation, and, and any other relevant records. So keep it in mind that before you think of applying for the ERC, you should be having all these records. And in number five, for the requirements for the application of the ERC, we shall have calculation of eligible wages. In this case, you should be able to determine all the eligible wages for ERC based on applicable guidelines. This may include assessing the maximum wage limit, considering the impact of other COVID-19 relief, such as PPP loans, and calculating the credit based on qualified wages. This one goes to those that receive the PPP loan. Some of the people that receive the PPP loan may not qualify for the ERC, but then you should not take my word for that. So you can always give it a try, but whenever you're applying and you got a PPP loan, just make sure that you include it in your application because you don't want to leave it outside because you know how the feds can be. So make sure that you include it in your application so that you don't run into trouble. Having all those will not guarantee you eligibility for the ERC. And also, this video is for information purposes only, so you should not take this video or any content in this video for financial or tax advice. Make sure that you consult the professionals or the CPA for any other tax advice. 
and for more information about the ERC, make sure that you check on the official website of IRS, irs.com. For those that are looking for more information about the ERC and all the requirements that you need to apply for ERC. Lastly, I would love to thank those that have been with us up this part of the video. And those are some of the requirements that you need to have for you to apply for the ERC. 